Hey everybody, this is John from Fluid and I am in a beautiful beach and uh, I've been on vacation, which is why you may have not uh, heard from me for a little bit. Uh, but that doesn't mean that our team has not been hard at work improving Fluid and uh, we're super excited to tell you about what's uh, about to launch. Uh, this is our new UI. So previously we had a dock, but uh, we are replacing it with this. Um, so this is kind of the, the center of all activity in Fluid. You can adjust volume. You can mute yourself so other people can't hear you, although open a new window. When voice commands are, uh, when you're muted, your voice commands still work, but other people won't hear them um, and won't hear you talk. And we also ha added the ability for you to dim your environment. Uh, right now we have a bug in pass through that it makes the windows kind of transparent. We will fix that. Uh, you can also use this button to enable and disable transparency mode or mixed reality. Let me adjust this a little bit. And uh, yeah, we've got apps here, so you can uh, rearrange these by clicking and dragging them and uh, open them. They, they open wherever you're looking. Um, so I just opened YouTube here. We've also recently added the ability for you to adjust how windows, uh, like their, their, um, their positions uh, in a little bit more uh, granular way. So what I mean by that is you've always been able to move windows kind of like this and bring them close and far. But what you haven't been able to do is do this, which is rotating them. We used to have this sort of, but this is a much better system for it. So for example, if I wanted to get up and uh, let's say put this this on, on the wall here like a TV, I can, uh, I can kind of get my angle just right and place it. And so now it's a TV on the wall there. Uh, I wanna also show you that when you're using hand tracking, here we go. Uh, now we've added the ability to interact straight with windows with your fingers. So right now I'm kind of uh, poking this uh, screen on this wall here. And uh, yeah, I can uh, open a video by just poking it. And then it plays. And I'm gonna go I have a dream, a dream of a sports and esports gaming center. I'm gonna close that or at least pause it because the audio is super loud. But yeah, so let me sit back down here and show you a little bit more of what we've been doing. So let me move that. And I'm gonna, for the rest of this, I'm gonna be in uh, VR because the screens are a little bit more, um, they're a little bit clearer in uh, when you're not in mixed reality. And let me just move this over to the TV. There you are right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the next page here. So this is spaces and spaces are basically ways of saving groups of windows and where they are uh, so that you can multitask in, a, in an easier way. So let's say I wanted to, sh to switch from this one. Maybe I call this my demo space. Okay. So maybe this is my demo space and I want to switch to my productivity space. So what I can do here is click on this one and then you can see here it gives you some information about that space. And if I click load space, what that's going to do is open up all the windows that I had saved in that space previously. So I had Linear and Notion. Maybe there's a Google tab. It looks like there's a Google tab open here. And then GitHub. Or, oh, oh, no, the chat, chat GBT and GitHub. And so uh, let's go back to our demo space. I guess the name didn't save. Let me change that. There we go. Saved. And I'm going to reload it. So this should have our, uh, our window of YouTube about the wall there. So that's spaces, uh, and you can create a new space. So when you create one, you can either start with it empty or use the current window. So you can, you can create a copy of this space and maybe modify it. Um, and uh, let's say that I was, I, I was in this space, but I had changed things, but I wanted to return to kind of the default of that space. So what we actually have is a, uh, a feature called default. So what I could do is I can save the current windows as the default for this space. And my last save, I guess uh, the date didn't come in, but anyway, uh, if I move this window here and then I reload it, what it's going to do is put everything back the way it was. I um, so this is great if you uh, basically have kind of like an activity you do every day and you might it might take you in weird directions. So maybe you're answering email and then you open up something to look something up to reply to somebody, but you still want your kind of email arrangement to, to be the same every morning when you get started. This is a great way to do that. All right, next we have multiplayer. So that's this, uh, this button right here. 
and it takes you into what we're calling rooms. So rooms can be solo, like right now I'm in my home room, it's just me, uh, but you can create a new room. So I'm gonna create one like John's demo room and I'll set the uh, room code to some you know random numbers or something and then uh, just testing. I'll save and create, and it created a room, and it actually put me into a multiplayer session. So with that sound, you can hear, you can see me here in the room. This is my, uh, this is my user, and then I can mute myself uh, or hide myself. Um, actually, this is really meant for other users, so you wouldn't really hide yourself from yourself. Uh, but if there's a user who's being annoying or you just want, don't want to hear, or maybe there's a side conversation, you can mute and hide people uh, so that they're not in your, uh, they're not bothering you. Um, and then if you go to the environment tab here, we actually have uh, different scenes. So in a multiplayer room, all we support right now is this room right here, Tranquil Grandeur. But I can change my skybox. And uh, maybe this one's nice. And uh, yeah, I want to open the shared computer. Let me do that real quick. This is the shared computer so everybody can see this window. Um, you can go to something like google.com. And uh, yeah, so this window is shared by everyone in the room in the multiplayer session. So people can join you by typing in this code in the join a room section. So if I put that code here, uh, they would join. Um, if I go back to my room here. Uh, I can delete the shared computer. So if I had signed into an account and I no longer want people to be able to access my, my signed in account, uh, you can delete it. And then that, that kills it and all of its memory. So uh, nobody can have access to logins that have been used all right, but let me, uh, you'll notice that my private windows, so these are ones that aren't shared, came with me. Uh, but you can you can close those and then just reload your space uh, if you want. Um, okay, let me go back to my home room. So I'm going to join that. And so now I'm back in my home room and I can go to the environment tab or I can click this button right here. So this button is uh, environment. Um, and in the room, it's like the environment panel of the rooms section. And uh, this lets us change our environment in terms of the 3d assets that are here uh, we can change our so I just changed to the cabin we also have moon we also have lo-fi and lo-fi is is a great environment that we give to people who have left reviews so we'll uh, we periodically go through our reviews and uh, give access to people who have left uh, reviews so if you don't have lo-fi yet uh, go ahead and leave a review um, we also will give it to people who create social media content about fluid and kind of spread the word so either one of those ways will 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 get you uh, access and if you have done one of these things and don't have access yet just let us know in the discord and we can uh, we can make that happen for you so let me go back to tranquil grandeur which is our uh, kind of large environment so you can still move around uh, i'm going to go ahead and close this window uh, for now oh, so the omnibox is in my way right now so i'm just going to hide it with a keyboard shortcut and i can bring it back up um, so maybe we'll go upstairs for this one. So, uh, <laughs> teleport, 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 teleport. So this is a desk here where you get you you can overlook the whole room and outside. I think this is a really nice spot. Um, so let's go through another thing. So uh, we also have sky boxes. So you can see out here. Um, this is the, the the stuff outside of the windows here is all skybox and uh, you can actually you start with a library of three of them so this is one uh, maybe I need to rotate this one it looks like it's uh, pretty dark it overlooks a, an ocean um, we'll probably rotate it so you can see more so there's this one and then there's this one which is kind of like a sunrise over some mountains and ocean these are skyboxes that I've made myself. So I can type in a, a generation code or a, a prompt and it uses artificial intelligence to generate the world outside. So let's go ahead and make a new one. So I just clicked make new skybox. I'll show you again just in case I wasn't looking properly at it. So you click that and then we are in the new skybox uh, page. So we can type something like a beautiful, oh, Beach at sunset. Uh, let's add some flair. Award-winning amateur photo. 
and we click generate and so this is now generating you can see outside right now we have kind of the the blank space while this generates let me show you some other features so we have the volume adjustment so you can adjust the volume of your headset with this one here and then we actually you can just direct touch the omnibox too so if you wanted to to do that you could and uh here we go look at this sunset uh beach let me move this out of the way all right so let's rotate this around and see what we have oh it looks like there's a house behind us let me rotate and okay so i think probably this is the best view maybe something like this and let's go ahead and go to one of these spots down here and see what it looks like from there oh wow that looks great I feel like there's a jungle around us there's a little bit of a 3d effect and uh, yeah the ocean skyline looks a little bit curved it probably should be a little flatter but uh, next generations of this uh, generative AI stuff that we're gonna add will make it a lot better okay so I like this one so I'm gonna save it so I'm gonna click save skybox to library and you'll see it pop up here. And so now, if I wanted to switch between my Swiss Alps ski lodge view and this one, I could. And then, of course, if I wanted to switch and see the real ocean in front of me, I can just turn on the this button here, which is uh, turning pass-through on, and I can see it. Let's say I wanted to watch a video, though, and uh, I can darken the room, uh, the real world a little bit, and I can open YouTube and... Maybe bring it a bit closer to myself. And now I have this wonderful uh, kind of personal theater. And if I need to talk to somebody in real life, I can just boop, put the brightness back up. And yeah. All right, everybody. Um, that kind of covers it. I uh, There's some other little things here, like you can open the Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth devices menu here by clicking that, and it opens it. Uh, you might not be able to see that because I think Meta doesn't record that uh, panel. Um, we have your battery percentage and uh, things like that. So uh, that has been the tour of the new version of Fluid. Uh, you can get it right now in our Discord. 